Good afternoon, Jacksonville. Brad here with the Yamaha Marine Center in Orange Park on Wells Road, right off of 295, next to Napa Auto Parts, 1515 Wells Road. Adam X across the street there. Uh, just got our uh, last 2019 stock 26 Cravel in. Uh, boat's about 25 and a half feet uh, in total length. <clears throat> they call it a 26. And uh, 8 foot 6 on the beam. Um, what, 93 gallons of fuel. Got a fresh water tank on this boat. Uh, raw water wash down. We did the new extended height windshield on this one. Should give us a lot of good weather protection. Um, I think we're a 93 gallon fuel tank and probably close to 5,000 pounds. Um, I want to start in the front of the boat today because this is one of the most fishable bay boats that we sell, kind of considered a hybrid boat, so it is a good crossover between a uh, center console and a bay boat. I think of it more like a low draft center console. It drafts about 12 inches of water, uh, more like 14, 15 when it's well loaded. But nice big casting deck up front, which is what I really love. We did do a fish box option on this one. So this is an insulated fish box that curves around to this center storage here. And that bucket is full of cleaning supplies, the stuff that they suggest you use on the gel coats and the vinyls so you don't destroy everything. Sorry about the bugs, it's been raining all week so the bugs have gotten pretty bad. Uh, drains overboard right there, like I said, it is insulated. Uh, you'll notice everything uses friction hinges instead of gas shocks. Uh, all gem looks, latches, high-end stuff, uh, all the boxes especially these big lids are um, resin transfer molded so two piece vacuum bag suck the resin through it to make it into one solid piece that way it gives you a nice firm structure to stand on not going to feel any flexing or get any kind of joe coat cracking or anything like that uh, this boat is also equipped with the forward cushion package we still have it on the boat currently so you can see where the backrests plug in on either side and then the snaps for the forward cushions. Um, this box over here is Rawbacher. It is lockable storage. Uh, that's the cover for the boat. We did the full mooring cover, and then up front is some more storage in here. And then a quick connect for the trolling motor, and then that is an anchor locker up front. Everything again, friction hinges, pop-up cleats, nice big hard top, again, resin transfer molded forward seat uh, safety equipment that way you're not taking up good storage uh, storing uh, life jackets fire extinguishers flares things of that nature that was a pretty good idea uh, we added a little vent in there for natural lighting in the head compartment hey man and then in the floor is where the five gallon bucket can go and then it's pre-wired for a trolling motor up to that front plug uh, this is also a bait well Runs off of the port live well motor, I believe, or pump. Uh, we did upgrade the stereo, so you have a subwoofer, a couple extra speakers. All of the cup holders have uh, LED backlighting in them. Really pretty at night. Uh, Argento pipe work was an upgrade. Give it a nice offset and matches the upholstery really well too. Flip down bolster, lean and post seat, flip down armrests. Uh, this was new for 2019, the molded fiberglass leaning post instead of being all aluminum. And we got little storage compartments in here. Uh, sea deck, uh, double thick at the helm, anti-fatigue mat. Uh, you have anti-fatigue or just sea deck there on the steps, your battery switch, uh, VSR, all your breakers. VSR is, uh, charges the engine battery and the house battery without having to touch the switch at all so as soon as the cranking battery is charged that relay swaps over to the house battery and charges it we'll move up to the helm uh, pro trim on the jack plate with c-star jack plate uh, it is a tilt steering wheel so we got about 11 inches of adjustment uh, fusion radio head that is tied into the simrad so it's a black box and then we put a remote here and then i'll show you on the transom of the boat is the other remote in case you're floating around in the sandbar or something uh, single nss evo 3 uh, 12 inch uh, touch screen button hybrid and then all of your buttons down here are backlit LED push button multifunction uh, That's 12 volt and then this is a little USB Charger and I think it might link to the diffuser as well And this actually has a volt gauge in here so you can tell what your battery is when we have a battery installed uh, Glow box we can take this out and put another NSS 12 in its place since we don't have a Yamaha gauge 
uh, and then standard Yamaha controls. It's a uh, digital electronic, uh, Linko trim tabs. Again, more backlit LEDs in the cup holders there. Show you the head compartment real quick. Again, friction hinge, a uh, little garbage bag holder for trash. Everything in the head is pretty neat and clean. A little porta potty, C Star power assist steering pump. Uh, there's your Fusion black box, battery charger, and all the wiring is nice and clean. We do have a piece of canvas uh, option that we can put up there. I think we did the option on this boat. I see a clip over there against the wall somewhere by that wiring right there. So there should be a piece of canvas that goes up to hide all this. So if you have a kid and you're using the potty, we don't go bumping wires or anything like that. Uh, on to the back of the leaning post. One of my favorite areas, a nice little prep area. Uh, there's some cutting board uh, that goes down here so you can actually walk baits to the front of the boat without dripping squid ink or ladyfish guts everywhere. A uh, little sink to do some freshwater wash down and then plenty of small, medium tackle boxes, tool storage, and then uh, of course the slide out Yeti, which is a really nice feature. Uh, raw water's down there, some more undergunnel tool storage, uh, midship blue water rod holders, and we have a transom one here. Big 28 gallon release wells. Again, friction hinges, no gas shocks to get in the way of dip nets or anything like that. And off into the closed transom. A little bit of splash well back there, but another huge casting deck. And the aft seat folds up and out of the way. So, of course, you got more of the casting deck space when you want it, and then more seat when you want that. And this is a little tricky to do with one hand, but I'll set the phone down for one second. There's a little latch that you lift, and then the seat comes up. That way, we have access to this aft cooler, which I usually use as a fish box, so you can just pull it out of the boat. And then you also have bilge access back underneath here. Nice big bilge access, actually, to get to all your pumps, ground strap, all that good stuff. Another release wall on this side. Uh, hideaway swim ladder. Yamaha 300 Digital electronic controls for the engine and then of course here's another freshwater shower in case you go swimming and then your ladder stows in this little insulated cooler box which you can also use for drinks and stuff like I said six inch I think it's a six inch setback uh, sea star jack plate works really well with the Yamaha 300 there's another fusion remote I was telling you about and one of the biggest improvements that we've had for the 2019 model year is the new Crevel resin infused manufacturing process. So basically what that is, is resin infusion with the hull and the stringer grid. So instead of doing a wet layup, which you might know is like a gel coat uh, and then a skin coat where they just use a chopper gun and spray chop in it and roll the resin through it. Um, it's a more scientific process, I guess. They do a dry layup, um, put everything in a bag and then suck the resin through it. So what it does is it makes the hull and stringer grid more of one solid piece. So uh, greatly increases the structural rigidity of the boat. Um, again, makes it more one piece. It, it quiets the ride the hull as much because uh, it's a more solid ride. But uh, it, it's made a big difference as far as the, the sound and ride quality seems to have improved as well. Uh, the multifunction, I think it's a total scan transducer, a uh, drain plug, and a uh, drain plug if you accidentally forget to put it in, not that anybody's ever done that. Um, you can actually get to the drain plug from inside of that bilge access and screw it in. Uh, big, huge Lenko trim tabs integrated in the hole, which is really nice. Uh, trailer, nice trailer too. Uh, Road King makes it for them. They got the straps built in. Aluminum wheels, torsion axles, really nice package all around. Come to the front of the boat, you can kind of get an idea of the flare. Uh, really aggressive entry on the front, uh, progressive dead rise, flattens out the back to give you that nice low draft. Um, and then this flare takes care of a lot of the spray and uh, things like that. And you can see the aggressive entry on the front. And again, just that flare to deflect any of that water that that reverse chine right here may not take away and then these lifting strakes here of course help the boat get on plane faster and, and again deflecting water away from the hull but really nice running boat like i said a really nice hybrid option for 
uh, northeast Florida boaters that can do inshore duty and really good offshore duty. Uh, if you have any other questions on this boat or anything else on the lot, please give Brad or Barton a call on 904-644-7631. Or you can always visit us, visit us on the website, yamahamarinejax.com.